year's most anticipated game, Skyrim, arrives in stores on November 11th. Think about yourself for a second. Are you a good person or a bad person? I'm betting you don't really think you're evil. But what if I could prove that you are? We're putting together a social experiment that will test just that. Be sure to speak into... The heart of the test is this machine. The shocks are fake, but the participants don't know that. With each incorrect answer, the voltage rises by 15, and our actors' pre-recorded responses become more alarming. Our first test subject is already manning the switches. <laughs> the answer is... He's laughing. Right. It's hard to understand exactly why. Part of it is the absurdity of the situation, and part of it is the nervousness that they're feeling. Get to play. Tell him the correct answer so that he makes the association. <laughs> is it to know right? Yes. <laughs> it's here. This is, oh my God. Number nine. The next one is gold, dollar, necklace, moon. <laughs> It's wrong. One hundred twenty volts. So this is really the crucial moment. Up to now, the teacher has just been hearing horrible noises. This time, it's going to be different. In the original Milgram, the voltage ran from 15 to 450 volts. But one number became the turning point, 150 volts. In Milgram, at 150, a recorded voice began to scream for the experiment to stop. 150 volts. Answer, Forrest. Experimenter, that's all. Get me out of here. He's I thought twist. I had heart trouble. My heart's starting to bother me now. So in our test, that's the moment of truth. After participants hear the man in the other room beg for mercy, will they flip the switch to 165 volts? Wrong. Or will they refuse to continue? 165 volts. Time. Please continue. People surprise you. Ah! Eli Roth hosts Curiosity, How Evil Are You? Sunday at 9, only on Discovery.